position and wait for my go. Hi students, welcome to your week 7 of your tutorial session. So within this tutorial session, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a new page for your website design. Okay, so I want you guys to download your week 7 uh, uh, in the open learning and uh, if you open in the image file there will be a file called template mockup page 1 if you look file opened okay so what you will see is template mockup 1 page okay if you open that file uh, this is uh, your page new page design okay so I have uh, uh, make the design for you and export the image accordingly okay so if you scroll you will see okay the layouts and the video that you have done in project brief one will be placed over here all right okay so first of all we're going to change the layout uh, for the header of your website okay so first of all uh, make a week 7 folder and then download the file that I have given to you or you can use the week 6 folder uh, that we have done in previous tutorial so I'm going to open file new open uh, index okay so this is uh, the current file that you guys have alright so I'm going to create a new file so I'm going to click file save as name as recipe 1 and then I click OK. So this is the new uh, page that we are going to work with. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're going to change the background for the uh, website. Okay, the header. Okay, the background. So click on header. Okay, so uh, since I'm going to name this one as header underscore page one. Okay. Alright, so header underscore page one. So by right, uh, from there header underscore page one, we are going to create uh, header underscore page one. Okay, so header. I'm going to look for header. Header, header, header. Okay, this one. Okay, header. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this one okay header and then I'm going to name it as header page underscore page one all right okay so uh, so header underscore page one what I wanted to do is go to the background the properties are the same and change uh, the backgrounds to the background that have been given to you page one header click ok so by right your content now is looking like this so save all okay and then uh, preview your week 7 folder recipe one by right you should have your uh, background of the images is changing accordingly like this okay so the next uh, properties we're going to change uh, the content and this looks like this okay so accidentally moving it okay okay so for the next step is that uh, in the right ingredient uh, so we're going to change the content that we see over there so first of all I'm going to delete this and then insert a new div tag called header underscores content page 1 okay so everything that is page 1 is easily identified as page 1 and then I click OK so inside this header underscore page 1 what I'm going to do is that I'm going to insert a, a heading 1 and then I can copy and paste from this spaghetti ugly olio will be my heading okay copy control C to copy and then paste it over here in the H1 okay H1 Alright So spaghetti ugly olio H1 And uh, Underneath there I'm going to input a paragraph Okay so just copy and paste from there From the content that I have given to you And then paste it 
over here inside the paragraph section okay so there you go uh, there you have it uh, there's a contents going on and then once you already have header content uh, page one we're going to uh, create uh, the properties for this okay so just select over here okay so I'm going to click plus make sure it is header content page one okay so uh, header content page one uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, position it uh, using uh, uh, position click on absolute okay uh, put the top uh, pixels 150 and then from the left is 8% okay 8% alright so roughly I'm going to uh, make the color of the text is white easier for us to see okay and then uh, assign the text alignment to left right so if I save all and preview my file from here for so from here it will become there you go there's you there you start to have a start uh, develop a content for your website okay so uh, next we will uh, delete this read more and put a uh, image like this over there Okay, so for the next, uh, we will delete this uh, read more uh, content over here. And then, what we're going to do is that we're going to insert a new div tag. And then call this div tag a header underscore img. Okay, so header underscore img. So inside this header, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an image. Okay, so select P1 header content. Okay, so that is the image uh, that I have been give, given to you. Okay, so and then we're going to position this image accordingly. So the same thing as well, just select on this image, uh, select on the header IMG. So I don't want that to be too long. Okay, header IMG, and then uh, set the position. The position to. Oh, okay to absolute okay so from the top it will be 200 pixels and then from the right should be uh, 25 percent okay 25 percent right. okay so uh, if i save all by right uh, from an uh, here it will look like here okay so uh, so we require a little bit of adjustment from here so since you see uh, so once you already have the setting we can make adjustment accordingly so I'm just going to uh, change this 25 to 20 pixels still in header.img save all okay save all the file and then by all right it should be Okay, there you go, the adjustment. Okay. So that's, I want you guys uh, to try uh, to make your page one and then uh, I want you uh, to make the layout for the page one heading. Okay, so uh, give it a go and then submit your file in the open learning below.